lamb ribs have become so popular and I think it's because when you cook them long and slow and then serve them slightly crisp afterwards, they turn into the most delicious secondary cut. So here they are here. Back in the days, it would be hard to find these or they weren't as popular. But these days at your butcher, you'll find them almost everywhere. So we need to get a little sauce on. And what I love about this way of preparing lamb ribs is there's minimal ingredients. Combination of soy, we want about a quarter of a cup into a pot. We're going to use this twice, not only to cook the lamb ribs in, but also as a sticky glaze later on. So we want this on a high heat to start reducing it. To this, I'll add some black vinegar. I love Chinese black vinegar because it has a really deep, earthy flavour. Again, you can get it from all your supermarkets. So we've got the vinegar component, the acidity. We've got some salt from our soy and sugar. So brown sugar. We want those deep, dark flavours for this. You just give that a swirl and just let that come to the boil. So we'll grab our beautiful lamb racks and we're just gonna pop them into a tray, okay? So they can be slightly snug at this stage, not overlapping too much, but they shrink significantly as they cook. Okay, this beautiful glaze has come up to the boil, so what we wanna do is just start to pour a little over. Don't use all of it, because I'm going to use this later on to glaze it. So I wanna add about half of this, gorgeous. And we're just going to brush that over. And because those flavours are so intense with the soy, the sugar and the vinegar, it's amazing how much this is going to soak in to our meat. So we need to cover this quite tightly. First, baking paper, scrunch it up, pop that in. And then I'll cover it up with some glad foil. So two pieces and make sure it's really tight. Okay, so for the first stage of cooking, we're going to cook at 150 degrees, so quite low. And you need to be patient here. It's gonna take about two and a half hours or until they're meltingly tender. Okay, the first stage of cooking is done. It smells so good. Let's have a look at these beautiful ribs. Take the paper off, oh, fantastic. Now I can feel how soft they are, but they're not so soft that they're just going to fall apart. So that two and a half hour mark is just right. And see how much they've shrunk? All of that liquid is still in there. What you can do is drain this off and reduce it even more, but I'm happy just to leave it in there. And then the leftovers, see how thick it's become just by reducing it. So we're gonna use this to be almost like the glue for the cumin. I'm kind of going with a Mongolian lamb theme here by adding some cumin crust to it, so good. So just paint this thick, sticky glaze over the top and I've turned my oven a little higher. So 220, you want it to be really hot because the lamb is cooked. We're just wanting to form a light crust on this now. We'll grab our cumin seed. Now these are cumin seeds that I've just crushed in a mortar and pestle. I don't want to use ground cumin because it's too fine. I still want some texture there. So it's just roughly ground, it smells so good. And we're gonna sprinkle that over. These flavors, work so well with lamb and I love that nutty flavour of cumin seed so I'm being quite generous with it. It does cut through the fattiness of the lamb. All right, back into the oven, you don't need to cover it and that's going to take another 25 minutes. out of the oven they look fantastic look at that gorgeous crust and now to plate them up I'm gonna go for this center one right here I'm just gonna cut them into smaller bite-sized pieces so turn them over I still want them to be on the bone and look at that this knife just slides through the ribs I just want to show you how soft and tender this meat is super juicy pop that onto a plate turn them around so we can really show off that gorgeous cumin and we'll grab another one and then just turn them over 
and then cut them into bite-sized pieces. These are ribs that you'd want to serve with a little bit of steamed rice or if you want to serve it as sort of a bit of a, a plate to share around, just cut them into smaller ribs and then it could be like party food. So there's a few ways of serving this up. Par them up and just so the colour pops and we haven't got any spice there, I like the addition of some red chilli. Just garnish that and see all these juices in here. Don't waste it. We'll just add a spoonful, it's all it takes, just to drizzle over our ribs. Oh. Now don't get me wrong, I do love pork ribs anytime. Pork ribs are so good. But if you haven't tried lamb ribs, they cook in the same way and they are so delicious, particularly served just like this.